Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of classification two. And uh, in our previous lesson, we introduced the biological keys whereby we identified one of the keys as the dichotomous key. Uh, then we went ahead to study the rules for constructing a dichotomous key. Uh, now, uh, today we are going to uh, study the common identification features that are used by animals and also plants when we are constructing a uh, dichotomous key. What do we look for in animals, for instance? So, common features. used when constructing a dichotomous key. So in animals, the following features are used. we are identifying the, the common ones, we can use the locomotory features. What features or what structures are used? Let's call it locomotory structures. What structures are used for locomotion? Uh, they are those that move by flagella, there are those that move by cilia, and so on and so forth. Those are locomotory structures. We can also use uh, the number of body parts. We can use the number of body parts. For example, for phyla arthropoda, there are those that have uh, two body parts. There are those that have three body parts. So we can use the number of body parts. Uh, we can use body segmentation. Uh, there are those that have segmented uh, uh, bodies. Uh, there are those that uh, whose bodies are not segmented. We can use the number of appendages uh, or the limbs. Uh, how many four limbs are there? How many hind limbs are there? We can use body surfaces, can put it in a different manner, the cover of body surfaces. E.g. there are those that uh, their body surfaces are covered by fur. There are those that are covered by feathers. They are cover of body surfaces. These are, these are some of the features that we use when we are uh, constructing dichotomous key for animals. Uh, number six, we can use the presence and number of antennae. There are those animals that have antennae. And then how many are they? There are those that have one pair. There are those that have uh, less than pair. So we can also use um, Even uh, the number and types of eyes, we can use 
the body shape and formation So all those are some of the features that we can use in animals. There are those that have cylindrical bodies. Uh, there are those that have flattened bodies. So basically, all those are structures that we use when we are constructing the dichotomous key in animals. So we are saying that uh, those structures are many, but uh, we cannot exhaust them. So it's also important that uh, we look at uh, in plants, in plants, the following common features are used for identification. So for example, uh, we can start with the leaf. If we use the leaf, we can talk about uh, the leaf type. As we mentioned earlier, the leaf, the nation, we can use the leaf arrangement, also known as phylotaxy. Phylotaxy refers to how the leaves are arranged. Some may be opposite, others may be alternate, and others that we shall see. Uh, the leaf uh, shape there are those that have uh, broad leaves long leaves narrow ones and so on and so forth the type of leaf margin what kind of what kind of a leaf margin is there uh, the presence of leaf stock. All those are some of the features that can be used to identify the leaves in plants. We can also use uh, the features of the stem. We can talk of the type of stem, whether it's a woody, or herbaceous. Uh, we can use also the shape of the stem. All those are some of the features that we can use as far as the, the stem is concerned. We can use the roots to identify also. We can use the root system whether it's a tap root or fibrous roots. We can also use the storage roots. There are some plants that have storage roots, uh, roots that are swollen with food reserves. We can use uh, We can use the flowers uh, for example um, whether flowers are solitary or single flowers uh, we can use inflorescence inflorescence and its type ETC. So basically those are uh, features that we can use uh, when we are doing identification of, uh, when we are doing, uh, when we are constructing the dichotomous key. So for the animals, uh, we have said that uh, we use locomotory structures, structures used for locomotion. What do they use for the locomotion? There are number of body parts. What are the, the number of body parts? How are the bodies segmented? Hmm? You can even use body symmetry. Huh? You can also add that to the list here. Uh, body symmetry. 
Is it bilaterally symmetrical? Is it uh, radially symmetrical? Number of appendages of the limbs. Uh, there are those that have a certain number of limbs per segment. Uh, there are those that have a fixed number and so on and so forth. The cover of body surfaces. Is the body surface covered with the fur, feathers, can even have scales? Like in the case of fish, the presence and the number of antennae, there are those that have uh, the antennae, the number and types of eyes, compound eyes, simple eyes, body shape and formation, body symmetry, we have explained that. So basically all those are features that uh, can be used in animals. We have not exhausted the list. The list is long, depending on what kind of an animal are we talking about. But what is important is to make sure that we use, uh, we use morphological characteristics, observable characteristics. In plants, uh, we are saying that uh, we can use the following features. Uh, in the leaves, we can use the leaf type venation, leaf arrangement, also known as phylotaxy, leaf shape. Uh, there is uh, the, those the shapes that we say they are ovate, uh, oval in shape. There is the lanceolate, as we shall see later. The leaf margin, how is the margin? Is it serrated or is it an entire smooth margin? The presence of the leaf stalk. So those are basically the structures about the leaves or we can use the stem, type of stem, shape of the stem, and so on and so forth. Roots can also be used in terms of the rooting system, the storage roots, the flowers, uh, whether it's a single flower or there are many clustered, like an inflorescence. Mm. There are different types of uh, inflorescence. Uh. For example, in the inflorescence, we have e.g. a panicle. We may have a rakim. We have a head, a spike. Depending on the way they are, uh, the inflorescence are arranged or they are clustered together. So the assignment for today's lesson so the first question name five observable features used in constructing used in constructing dichotomous keys in animals. And number two, identify the features in a leaf that are commonly used in identification. So for the features that are commonly used in leaves for identification. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>